What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbtron back today with more Destiny 2. Gotta say, it feels good to be back in the game after the January 30th update. Um, now, Bungie did release a, a statement on Twitter saying that you weren't going to be able to get Masterwork armor from token turn-ins, but uh, that is kind of BS because I just got one. Um, so I just want to quick talk about some of the things that were released. I think all of them are amazing. Uh, later on tonight on Twitch, I'll be doing a raid-a-thon, um, trying to get as many raids done as possible. It starts at 9 p.m. Central, so check me out there. Link is in the description if you want to join in, if we have spots available. We will be on PC, um, so just hop into the into the stream, say, hey, what's going on? You know, do you have any room? blah de blah this sort of thing. We'll be doing Eater of Worlds and Leviathan. I just got a Masterwork Origin story. It's kind of cool. Um, might end up doing Prestige Leviathan as well. We'll see. Um... Trying to get, you know, that ghost. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that ghost, actually. Um, a lot of, the, I mean, I'll leave a link in the description as well to the patch notes. I'm not going to read over what the patch notes said or anything. Um, just all the changes are good, you know. Um, so far, I haven't had any complaints about anything that they've done today. Um, there's even been a couple surprises fixing things. Um, the Prometheus lens, which is on my Titan's back right now, um, <laughs> it seems pretty good. This is the armor piece I got from turning in tokens to Zavala. It's too bad I didn't get another while I was recording. But that's what I get for not recording my first couple token turn-ins. I also got this masterwork armor from turning in an Engram I had saved up. I had like four legendary Engrams on my Titan that I had saved up. Um, I didn't play too much of Destiny 2 this past week waiting for this patch. I'm playing a lot of Warframe, so uh, the movement in Warframe is a lot more fluid and faster. Um, so, of and I put probably 35 or so hours into it last week. Um, so <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong buttons a lot, and it's it's no no bueno there. But I'll get I'll get over it. Let's see what I'm going to check out. And then we're going to try to make as much of the current armor set that I have on me. Masterwork. Um, should be able to do all of it. Is this Masterwork worth keeping? No, it's reload speed. Do not care. So, and it only takes five Masterwork cores and some legendary shards to make something Masterwork, so... That's bueno. Uh, but this Prometheus lens, I was using it a little bit while I was searching for the Cade 6 chests which that video is already live, so if you need to find out where those are, um, it's the video right before this one. It's kind of neat. Oh, another thing that they did, uh, they changed the Masterwork weapons so that you see what the Masterwork does. Before you couldn't see what it did, now you can see the change. So I have Masterwork for handling. It says, bam, there's your, there's what changed. So that's kind of neat. Um, the, my forward path here, which I'm going to lock because it's really good. You should get this, by the way. Um, it's Iron Banana right now. So, do some Iron Banana-ing and get that. Uh, you'll notice here, I have Masterwork from Magazine, which I'm not super thrilled about in this weapon, but oh well. Um, you'll see that it's a, you know, the Magazine count will go down. It doesn't say by how much. I'd like to see that change. You know, I'd like to see more numbers kind of showing what, what changes in the game and not, like, having to guess. Having to guess is bad news bears. Or, you know, get rid of the masterwork and see what you lost. Now this living memory I might want to keep depending on what it is. Reload speed. Sign here. I'm gonna keep that masterwork. Beep. Oh dear. Oh dear. And swift ride I'm not really too concerned about. It's handling. I don't really think that highly of the swift ride anyway. So it's just gonna go poof. Only got one legendary, sh or one masterwork shard from it though. That kinda sucks. And no masterwork armor. But that's alright though. We have other peeps to turn into. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to turn in the rest of my tokens for the crucible and all the planets. And then we'll get back and uh, we'll make some, some masterwork armor. 
Alright, so we're back, and you saw the clips of me getting uh, Masterwork Armor from Token Turn-Ins there, I got a few of them. Um, let's see, I got one helmet, I've got one pair of gloves, one chest piece, two legs, I didn't get any um, class items, but that's fine. Um, I got a couple other Masterwork things, so as of right now I'm sitting at 16. Uh, masterwork Tokens, I don't plan on keeping any of this Masterwork Armor. Um, you know, it all just, it all just says it Reduces incoming damage while on your super. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Um, I don't care about collect like these pieces of armor being masterwork. So I'm just going to blow them up. You can see there from blowing up five pieces of armor, I got seven tokens or seven shards. Um, yeah, seems seems a little bit on the low side, but whatever. Um, now I do want to make this set masterwork um, eventually the whole set um, but in the spirit of this week being iron banana um, I'm probably going to make my iron banana set masterwork let's see here I can make five four of them masterwork which is fine because four an exotic or and an exotic let's go apply masterwork armor we got oh, mobility gross <laughs> so you can re-roll them as well um, We'll see what we can do here once, once, uh, once we're done. Let's see your masterwork armor. Go. Hey, there we got uh, resilience recovery. Not too shabby. I don't have the chest piece yet. That's gonna be the first thing I get. So that's our, our exotic slot anyway. So let's see here. Masterwork and. We got restorative, but it's got mobility on it. Kind of poopy. Kind of not feeling it. And that doesn't change at all, so that's fine. Um, maximum power is 360. Interesting. Okay. Um... So yeah, that's the thing. You're going for the ornaments, all that shiz. I'm gonna switch to that so I can not feel dumb putting on this armor. And then that, and then that. Okay. So that is my full Iron Banner set, minus the chest piece. All masterworked. And we're gonna re-roll this masterwork to try to get out of mobility resilience because that's poop. And now it is all three. That's fine. I can take it out of mobility. There we go. Trying to get, you know, not mobility. Mobility is garbage. Uh, that's fine. This is mobility. We're going to re-roll this. It's mobility again. <laughs> uh, and it's mobility again. Why not? Okay, there we go. That, that'll actually work. That's a heavy titan armor. And uh, there we go. So, 175. Not the best. But we'll deal. There we go. Now we're 1, 6, and 6. That's better for Crucible. So, I'll be rolling like this in the Crucible for a while. Or I should say in Iron Banner. Um, but like I said, again, Raidathon tonight at 9 p.m. Central on the Twitch. I suppose before we go, though, we can uh, take a look at these mods. Um, so, the headpiece. You got empowering this, empowering the other thing, whatever. Um, I like to be Sunbreaker in the raid, so all the mods I'm going to be going for are for Sunbreaker. Um, now, the arms, you have... While in the Leviathan, increase your melee uh, melee kills, increase your damage by 20%, or decrease damage taken by 20%, or while in the Leviathan, your melee kills have a chance to make enemies drop power ammo. Um, kind of up in the air about this one. I don't really see this being all that effective because because if I'm meleeing something, 
Chances are it's something small, and who knows how long um, that buff is going to be. You know, and, and when you go into a burn phase, is it really going to be all that important? Or do you want power ammo, or do you want to take less damage from getting a, a melee kill? Because most of the time when I'm meleeing something, it's either small, or I'm in an oh crap moment. But I think power ammo probably be the better scenario. Being able to shoot power ammo more often is always going to be better. As far as the chest goes, there's only one. While in the Leviathan, using power weapons to defeat, chal defeat challenging enemies will boost your power weapon damage by 15% for a short time. I'm not sure how long that short time is, but we're going to put that on there just because. And then we've got the Greaves of Nor. Which here we go, there's only one. While in the Leviathan, using energy weapons to defeat normal enemies will boost your energy weapon damage by 15% for a short time. That could be interesting. Um, you know, like, a, let's say on Callus, you kill a doggo, you go right back to shooting Callus. Is that damage buff going to be worth it? I'm sure Datto will tell us. If you don't know who Datto is, uh, how long have you been playing Destiny? Probably not very long. And then on the class piece, of course, we have just 25% more damage from your, you know, class or energy abilities, whatever. And again, I like being Sunbreaker. So there we have it. And this set looks insanely ugly. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I know it's kind of just kind of running around talking about stuff. Um, oh, my God, my tent looks ugly. But, you know, it's kind of fun to go over being able to, you know, being able to get uh, the masterwork armor from token turn ins because Bungie said you weren't going to be able to do that. And that was a lie. Or maybe they just reverted the change and didn't tell anybody or maybe they did and I didn't see the tweet. Who knows? Uh, but that is going to be it for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel or you want to help me not lose my partnership with YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you have anything to say, it's in the comment sections for. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody. We'll catch you all next time.